The Ravens added another important piece to their defense today. The team agreed to terms with veteran cornerback Kyle Fuller on a one-year contract, filling one of the last remaining needs on this roster. Now, this move also kind of completes an offseason overhaul that the Ravens have gone through in the secondary. They signed a big-time free agent safety in Marcus Williams. Then they used a first-round pick on safety Kyle Hamilton. They moved on from some veteran corners and drafted a pair of cornerbacks in the fourth round. And today, they added Kyle Fuller to the mix. Now, I really like this move because the Ravens did need some additional depth at that position. As you know, Marlon Humphrey and Marcus Peters are coming back from season-ending injuries. So it's important to have depth in a passing-driven league in that secondary. And Fuller, in a lot of ways, is the perfect match. He grew up here in Baltimore. He went to high school at Mount St. Joe's, and now he gets to play for his hometown team. Now, there are a lot of things that I like about him. Number one, he is a proven player. He's been to the Pro Bowl twice. He's a former first-team All-Pro. Finding cornerbacks with that kind of pedigree, especially at this stage of the game, that doesn't happen very often. So this is a great move by Eric DaCosta. We all saw last year the toll that injuries can take on a team. So adding a player like Fuller, who's incredibly reliable and durable, that's going to go a long way for this defense. And then the third point about him is that he's versatile. He can play inside and he can play outside. So as the Ravens build out this secondary, it's good to have versatile pieces in order to put everything into place. The Ravens clearly believe in investing in the secondary in today's NFL. Adding Fuller now gives them four first-round picks in this group. And I really believe that the Ravens have all the pieces to have one of the best secondaries in the NFL. Now, this is a big week here as organized team activities got underway today. We'll have a chance to watch all the action tomorrow and also hear from some of the guys after practice. So stay tuned for that. Pressers tomorrow after practice are going to be around 2 p.m. So you can watch those live on our app, our website, our YouTube channel, and our Facebook page. That's it for me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.